Who wants to hear a tune? Yeah. All right. He said real fast, right? Here we go. It'd be one thing to ride a bike 1,900 miles down the Mississippi River, but when you put a 350-pound piano on your tail and you haul that, that's when it really becomes a challenge. I'm Mark Braun, uh, better known as Mr. B, blues pianist from Ann Arbor, Michigan. I've been pretty fortunate, and I've been playing professionally since the age of about 17. Everything from big bands to trios, solos, duos, every kind of configuration you can imagine. You know, a dozen European countries, I've played in South and Central America, all throughout the United States and Canada. And, you know, very large, prestigious concert auditoriums all over the country. Mr. B! Mr. B's Joy Box Express. We have the world's only long distance travel piano bike. We have a real piano on a real bicycle. Well, there are three of us pedaling this contraption, 16 feet long, and all together we probably weigh maybe 1,200 pounds going down the road. We are planning a 90 day, 1,900 mile trip down the entire length of the Mississippi River from its headwaters at Lake Itasca in Minnesota all the way to New Orleans. We will partner with schools, community organizations, organizations of all stripes all the way down the river, but particularly those that are dedicated to kids and their access to art and athletics, the two things that we demonstrate our commitment to as we travel. We partner with those organizations by having them participate with us when we come through their town, getting a crowd of people to come out, create an event with us, and have them distribute our pledge form whereby they can raise funds for their own well-being club because all these kids now have to pay to play you know no longer are these services that we took for granted when we were young offered to kids and these are the two elements of their public education that are being just really sadly diminished to throw a pot or to play baseball it feels good to us for reasons that are hard to express but when it makes us feel good, it makes us be good. We've done three trips across Michigan. We've worked with over 30 charitable organizations. And after we leave the towns and have partnered with people, they go, oh, please come back. We might have put a few hundred or a few thousand dollars in their pockets for their groups, but we've also really beaten the drum about what it is their groups are trying to do in their own communities. That enthusiasm to turn up the burner a little bit, and that's what we're doing. The looks on people's faces when you pull up and play music for them, or when you bring them to an event and you let them gather around the piano and you see the faces of kids, that just the wonderment. What does a musician do for somebody? When, when does it have real value? And it has real value when you see somebody transform for a few minutes in time. That's a job well done, and then you ride away.